evening all and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, I am joined as ever by Lido Gamma. Hello, Nog. Hello, hello. You're fighting biters. I am because I want to expand down this way and in order to do that I need to clear out a few of these guys, I think. Okie dokie, are you going to be okay there or do you require resistance? Uh, hopefully I'll be okay. If not, I can drop the train and come down. Uh, yeah. Oh, come, come up there, I should say. Yeah. Um, right. So, uh, uh, there have been, I think, two things I've changed off camera this time after half the world. Although I'm not sure whether I'm, I mentioned on camera I was changing all the uh, stops to be, uh, all the uh, crosses to be around. Uh, yeah, the trains turn around on themselves. So. Okay, so so you're uh, you're doing that for all of them. Uh, I was going to go over and do it. I haven't done all of them yet, but there's no, you know, I was just there's no rush. And being like, yeah, that's uh, just just to allow trains to turn around themselves because sometimes they need that, especially with me because I'm driving trains around. All over the place. Yeah, uh, but I I have added a northern coal outpost for mining coal up. Okay. Get going. Oh, there's some actual uh, mining drill I missed off. I misplaced some mining drills up there. That's it. Uh, because our power died a death and uh, was not working to the point of that it was so dead the train was just driving backwards and forwards and then the train itself, the coal train, ran out of coal fuel because <laughs> it couldn't get any. So I'm like, ah. Uh. So yeah, these are all now running on burner inserters, which aren't the most efficient and wonderful things in the world, but they work when there's no power. So that is a good thing. And uh, now the whole thing is doing it. The things with the things are very thingy and everyone's happy. Yeah. Uh, and I think I've not changed anything else. Uh, other than where I'm actually stood, I have a uh, assembly machine making uranium fuel cells because we're going to need them. Because off camera, I have crafted two nuclear reactors. Ha 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 ha. Cool. All the nuclear power. Uh, oh, that's, uh, I should point out there is a, a thing up here using all our petroleum uh, making. Uh, I've got 1,500 red circuits in a box. In a wooden chest. Oh. Cool. Because I think it's the Except only one I had the on the wooden here. chest. <laughs> but yeah, so that means I can potentially make another three reacts, which is cool. I think I've got. Well, I've got a fair bit. Maybe we can make another four reacts. But, um, but we need nuclear power because yeah, everything's yeah, everything's dying because of power. Although now now it's all right. Typically, when I finally get to it, it's working fine. Um, but we will run out of coal again, and everything will go completely wrong. Yeah, and also, uh, everything is fine right now, because almost nothing is producing anything right now. That That is true. I did cut off half the um, uh, iron production, so that's really gimped at the moment. Uh, yeah. In fact, I've cut off all down to just four lanes, so... I'd like to plug that back in, because we are using more iron than we are producing, which is obviously slowing down the whole factory, so... Yeah. Although steel is pretty much backed up. Copper is backed up. I have gone around and upgraded some of the belts from yellow to red as well, in certain places, just because I made those of them. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll go and do that. <laughs> um, yeah, I've dropped off all my yellow belts and we'll just go with reds from now on, I think. Okay, oh, something I haven't built. Very, very important. Offshore. Why can I never find offshore pump? There. I need iron. Oh, I need electronic circuits. Well, good job I can just yunk a train down and grab some of those. Absolutely. There should be enough. I've, I've I've got I've got five carriages on my train again now, and it's just full of stuff all over the place. Okay. 
where I keep I, I like I like called down the uh, the gear train and just emptied one carriage into one of my carriages. I went, yep, that's it. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> and then I did the same. With that. It's just I've just had so many, and, and I've got another train as well with one carriage on the back of it that's got iron and steel and stuff in it, uh, or copper and steel. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> keep a... right. So I need. I was thinking that we should make a couple of building trains as well. Uh, basically one for each of us, where we can just load them up with the stuff we need. That, that's, I've, I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> the, the little one with one carriage I drive around in because it's fuel efficient. The big one I just move to just go, go there, I'm going to build there later. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah I, 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 would, I would recommend that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if I come up here, green train, where is the, oh, there is no train, <gasps> there's no green circuit train, oh, um, no, there might not be actually, because we haven't needed them anywhere yet, okay, in that case, I'm going to have to send my train off to do it, doop -a -doop. some space all right so i guess we're doing yellow inserters in one plot in one spot uh blue inserters in one spot etc etc yes yeah yeah that's fine yeah 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 i i, I um yeah i mean I, i've got obviously there is the outpost i made is going to do all the uh conveyor belts mm -hmm. but it does like yellow on one side and then it's going to do uh, red on the other side and then further over it's going to do the blue one so yeah so essentially you could have a line come off and go okay so down here is where inserters are made and then you go left for yellow inserters right for blue inserters but whichever whichever way you want to do it it's uh mm -hmm. i think as long as they're being made it doesn't matter no that's true that's true uh yeah. Did you, perchance, uh, make a blueprint of your roundabout thing? I did. I did. They should be in the blueprint. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, I will... Yeah. And that, that um, four-lane straight has its problem. Okay. Whereas I'm... Uh, it, if a train hits the junction, hits the crossing between the two lines, it blocks off both lines. These signals will turn red, and it's uh, other than just take them out. I don't know how to fix that, so I think I'm just going to leave them in. And if it starts causing problems, it may do when we get lots of trains driving around. Then we'll see. Um, it was pointed out uh, by Pete because when the copper train, copper plate train. Mm -hmm ran out of fuel it stopped halfway between the junction and blocked the entire track ah so i did need a way to go well actually you know what you can carry on straight because the bottom line is free even the top one's blocked and the only way i now to do that is just literally remove all of the inner crossing and only have the you can swap tracks or pick tracks as you come out of a junction or go into a junction. Yeah. New way to fix it, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, I've just set my train up. There's no radar up at the green circuits. <gasps> really? No. I thought I put one up there. Well, I'm right nearby. I can go put it up there for you. Can't. That's all right. Still control trains without radars. You can? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I didn't think you could. Well, now I just t t took out all the rails, so now you can't get a train here anyway. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, for, you can still click on trains even if you can just see their little. Icon. Oh, that, that's true. That's true. So. Right, yeah, he's waiting patiently. My yep. train's arrived. Hello. <laughs> I will get it back up and running. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to switch it to uh, the, the roundabout T-junction, since 
we're going with that. I figured, why not do it? So we don't have to redo it some other time. Yep. Oh, is that is that where you put it in the circuit? It's just there above the water. Uh, yeah, the the um, circuit. Sorry, uh, inserters. inserters. Yep. Ah, okay. That was my okay. thinking. Yep. No, I, 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 for some bizarre reason, I thought you were killing the buyers out and then going down there. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I, I just but, didn't want them to aggro because of the production there. That, that is something I've done up here at the coal place. I've, it's all surrounded and all ammoed up and everything like that because I thought, well, those buyers are going to attack at some point. The new coal mine. Yeah. And they haven't yet. They haven't seemed to be bothered at all. So, uh, no, uh, I think it's because there are a heck of a lot of trees up there. Uh, so they are absorbing all that's, the... Uh... That's proper true. In fact, that mining place is not producing any pollution, apparently. Interesting. Do miners not produce pollution? I thought they did. I thought they did. Maybe they're not running enough to do it. Yeah, maybe. I think... I, I, I don't know how... The problem is, is that I know how to change the settings for the trees when you create a new map. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to change it once you've done the map. So, as I said, I've updated the mod, and it seems to have done something weird where it's just absorbing loads of uh, pollution. And making trees grow in places they weren't before. Maybe it's just because it's absorbing all the pollution, the trees are now growing back. Maybe. Um... Your tree, but... your train is good to go. Uh, it's not going on its own. No, it's got no path. It should have a path now. Yeah. Um, yeah, like down here. This, this, this uh, right next to the iron mine, um, all the trees were dead, and now there's half dead and half alive, so I don't know quite what's happened to there, but... Uh, the the one where we have the, the smelting as well. Uh... Yeah, I mean, e even right next to the actual steam engine producing our power, the trees next to there are still growing back, and you think they'd be dead by now. You but, would. But they're, uh, I don't know, it just seems like something has gone a little bit squiff, and uh, they are... Um, Maybe. Just growing back everywhere. Wow, okay, yeah, they are definitely growing back. Right, where are research is? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was empty of trees. It's now full of trees. Yeah, that's true. It's still great. It's awesome. I love it. I love it. I, I hate it. it but I, I hate it. it. Great. <laughs> great. Fantastic. Oh, the, the, the problem is that when they grow back, uh, I mean, the car pretty much gets useless. The tank pretty much gets useless. Because yes, you can't go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, I, I get that. I, I, I honestly, I now having played this, I think a map I'd prefer would be the opposite way around. Where, yeah, okay, trees are uber powerful, like taking pollution out, but the map's basically a desert. So there's, there's very few of them. Yeah. Um, Why do you say there's no radar at the green circuits? There's plenty of radar at the green circuits. I could not see the map there. Oh, because you took the power out. Oh, of course. That's why. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that'd be why. I'm just like, ah, uh, I could I couldn't see there. I could still control the train, but I just couldn't see it. Okay. So, uh, this is going to be a uh, not very efficient nuclear setup, but a very expandable and very spread out one. Um, find it was mentioned oh. by Pete on the previous episode. We want it to be a four by two, don't we? Uh, uh, it's done by France, Francis John. Um, it's a uh, so all credit goes to him for this one here. I don't know if other people have discovered this one as well, but um, essentially, it's a line of nuclear reactors, and yeah, you, you just line them up in a big long line and then put the stuff on the end of them and it's just expandable as it goes. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm not sure how far inland I want to put this. I knew I'd get I knew I'd get 
damn it. Right. Pipes. I've got my heat pipes, got my heat exchangers, turbine, got the reactors. Just pipes. Those, those, those. We'll drop off dots. Let's we'll drop off forward as the one yeah. that we want. Oh, we, yeah. first we want a um, some parking. And I think this is the one that we want. So we we'll come in at the bottom. Go out the Might just top. Yep. Actually, we could do. Could do the same way in and out. All right, all right. Let's just get let's just get some nuclear power going. Because we need it. We need nuclear power. Something like this. There. And then this will... So, easy. Go. Come down and go in there. Will that work? No, it won't. Alright. Let's deconstruct this a little bit. Two. Nine. Yes. And we'll build this back. Leave a gap space to walk through. Steam turbine. Let's see that. Like that. Right, that works for me. Then we can do. Now yeah, we can do the signals later. We'll pull this back one and. Fourteen or thirty. One, two. Nope, I can't count. Forty. There we go. Bubble. Okay. That won't work, will it? Two yet. Not at all what I wanted to do. I didn't mean to click there. There. Right, it's slightly off kilter, but it's fine. No. We go in there. We come out there. Oh, no, work. Oh no, we won't. <laughs> stupid, stupid me. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just I, I'm creating the train parking and then I'm hooking the train parking directly up to the exit again without any <laughs> stops or anything in between. That that'll work fine. <laughs> that'll work absolutely fine. Move the reactor as close as I can. Ding. Um. Go. I don't the know if this is the best reactor. way to do it, but this will be the way it will be done. Realized that I'm making nuclear fuel cells there and I want to be making them kind of here. 
where are you making them? In the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just going to belt them over for the minute. I'm just going to belt them over and get working. Because the whole idea is that when this 4.4 million iron is used up, the iron ore, mm -hmm. I'm going to build where the iron ore pack currently is. A uh, That's going to be the nuclear fuel building, the outpost right there. Yeah. So the trains will come up, drop off uranium, it'll be processed, it'll be done that. So then it's close to the nuclear reactor. That's the idea. Right now it's out of the way because it's just uh, we're throwing it all together trying to get it working. Yeah. Right, so if we do this. We're going to add that down. What do we need for we... these? Iron plate, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. So we need three stops in. I run out of fuel. Oh, that's not it. I don't remember what you get when you re reprocess the fuel. I don't remember what you get for. Uh, don't know. Uh, let's see. Do we really need to drop off on both sides? I don't think so. This here. Uh, I want to upgrade. The whole thing here can be copied. Uh, no, no. Paste above. Uh, wait. Both sided rail drop belts forward. No, that's. Uh, both. Sided rail drop belts forward. That one is the one I want. And I want to upgrade. Loads more of those. Kind of don't. Yellow to red. And this seems like it's now changed to. Oh, it's just inserters. Why is it just inserters? Uh, I want to... Come on. Come on, robot. Oh. I should not have put that many in there at once. Because I need to build just two of them. Okay. That's all I have to that. Well, then I want to do that. Damn it. Right. Um, I don't want to save the blueprint. Uh, BS. But it's putting all the heat exchange there. Drop not what I want. Forward. Why has it done that? I do not know. Right, well, downgrade. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out. Um... So you you can upgrade blueprints, but you can't customize your upgrading. It seems. Uh... Oh well, I'll just stick down the inserters manually. Hold on, hold on. What, do you, what do you mean by upgrade? Uh, so if you uh, right-click a blueprint, then at the top yep. you, you have the buttons. The middle one is yep. upgrade. Upgrade. Yeah. Yeah. If you click that, you can create an upgrade planner and build whatever you want to upgrade. But how do I cl create the upgrade page. planner? Uh, 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 close all that and click the upgrade planner um, at the bottom, the, uh, the normal one. Mm -hmm. And it, it gives you that green icon, and then just drop it in your inventory. Uh, okay, so so I have to create it that then, way. Okay. Yeah, which you can then right click and then put in whatever you want to change inside there. Okay. Yeah, it's a little weird. 
Uh, and it, it's weird, it's called an upgrade planner, but you can actually downgrade stuff with it as well. Yeah. And that's actually what I want to do. I think. So, if I... Take... Where is it? BS, rail drop-off, belts forward. And I want to upgrade that. Okay. Much better. Save blueprint. And then I can do this. BS, rail drop, belts forward. Welcome. Uh, okay. One here. One here. Add. Let's just remove that for now. So we'll drop belts forward and I'll grab some of these because these cover three minutes of these. Actually, you know what? Let's create a little gap in between and we'll do the same here. That's our three drops. And then we need a pickup. Actually, you know what? Let's deconstruct this. Because we'll do the pickup up there. Let's just make sure that the rails can actually do what we need them to do. Not seems. Dang it, we they need cannot. to move it oh, no. one over, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I am going to put down a red inserter there, so the last inserter actually let's just put it over there. So the last thing needs to be right there. Oops. So let's deconstruct Oops. all this again. Okay. No, don't do it. Right. Right. One thing I must also remember is to get in the train before I tell it to go places. That is a good idea if you want to go with it. Because you have no idea how many times I've told it. Right, go there. And then, oh, God. It's gone. Oh, no. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> And also, I've got out of trains as they're moving, just they're sort of coming to a stop. Mm -hmm. And the run in between the locomotive and the carriage behind the got run over. Yeah. So, um, so my deaths by train are way higher than you'd imagine. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how to find that. Is that uh, I think it's under kills in the statistics. Kills all time. Doesn't. Apparently I've died five times, but it doesn't say what to. I've mm. killed 6,100 trees, 4,500 other trees, 3,500 other trees. I have died nine times. I've have I, I've killed a straight rail? Aaron? M me too. And I've killed one fast underground belt, which I remember doing. Uh, I had one spare one on me, and I'm like, just go away. It's just, just <laughs> stop it, stop it. 
Uh, I've what? killed one fast underground belt as well, so I guess it's for the entire game. Not just you. Ah, okay. Right, fair enough. That makes sense. Alright, so we actually want four stomps. Okay. Uh, ah, oops. PS, we'll drop belts forward. So if we go here, up here. Doesn't quite work the way I. Let's just go forward. Like that. That's way more space than we need, but that I'm okay with that. Right, and then we can copy that. We do that. Oh, damn it! I did it again. Uh, I don't want this one. Because I want this one to be a drop off. Uh, so. Oh, but can I now? That's a good question. Let's just turn off our robo port for a second until we figure this out. Hey. hey. Right. Okay. Oh wow, we're out of time. I hadn't. Done, I haven't we done are, a damn are, thing. We are out of time. I hadn't particularly realized it. I haven't done a damn thing. Uh, BS. Yes, you have. You you run around. That was from back. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I want. Uh, give me just a second. BS yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. 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 I am. Front. So if I stick this in here, why is this what, different? Okay. Uh, uh, so that's why. I've just connected. Uh, that's fine, one. but now I won't be able to come in. Uh, actually, you need to go that way, and I won't be able to get out of here. You won't be able to get out of there. You'll be trapped forever. Yes. Let's just see. Yeah. All right. We need to move down a bit. That's fine. Let's just deconstruct all of this. We'll turn our robo port back on to pick all that stuff up. And I guess we'll. I'll start doing this uh, properly in the next one, guys. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I put that down there, that gets power. And if I put this one in here, that means you'll grab that, and we have nuclear power! Cool! Let the other bits up. But, but it's running! So, yeah. Very cool. So next episode, we will have nuclear. And I will go and get the substation. Do I need some substation? Sounds good to easy, me. Easy, mate. So, yeah, awesome. Okay, so, uh, we'll leave it there and come back next time, shall we? Yep, let's do that. Right, so, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>